Chris on the front row to your left. Hey KJ, How you doing? what was it about this place the first time you visited where kind of you knew it was home and then you obviously stuck with it through the whole process? All right, um, so basically, um, Coach Odell, Coach Novell, they're like, just get on campus. Um, I bet you'll love the place. And I was like, um, I don't know at first, because like, as you all know, I'm from North Carolina. So like, that's like far away. And then like, as soon as I got here um, on March 5th, I want to say, March 4th or 5th, I just love the place. I love the people of Tallahassee. Um, just the whole environment it's itself just, like it set the bar really high and it exceeded my expectations, so. All right, next question will be behind the second row on your right. And uh, like when you committed, that was one thing, but then it just seemed like a lot of people were thinking these North Carolina schools aren't gonna let you leave. Right. Like how, how difficult was that, that process? Um, I mean, it was definitely diff difficult. I mean, uh, NC State was like 45 minutes away. Like, so like they, all the schools from North Carolina, like they still recruited me hard, which I expected um, knowing cause like I was a big prospect, but um, just knowing that where I wanted to be was what was right for me. And just knowing that Florida State felt right. It felt like a family here and I just wanted to be a part of it. All right, next will be Essen, second row on your left. You know, watching last year, you know, the success Jared Burris had and just watching, you know, um, how much of that just affirm your belief that you wanted to be here to watch, you know, how they played last year defensively and all that? Um, just knowing that Coach Fuller, Coach JP, and Coach Higgins, they're all gonna um, push me on the defensive side of the ball to be my very best and then at that push me farther than what's my best because they know what I can bring to the table. They know what to, um, how to push me. And just knowing that, just seeing Jared Burst and Fabian Lovey, Robert Koo, Josh Armour, all those guys just how they set the standard for us and for me and just to follow in the footsteps and just be a sponge and soak it all in and be able to just take all the info I can get. We'll come back to Ira over here on your right. We've all got to see Coach Odell coach um, and he's a tough coach. Oh, yeah. What was he like as a recruiter and have you already started to see him since you've been here, you know, how, how the man he is? Um, so Coach Odell to me, he's like, he has a lot of qualities like um, my grandfather's. So like me and him connected on like a deeper level outside of just football. Um, he definitely is a man that cares about you more than just a person, a football player. Like he, he really wants to know who you are, how you're feeling, what you're going through. Um, he's just somebody that it's easy to talk to him about anything. You know, he doesn't judge you. So I, like that's a big thing. But like when you're on the football um, field, it's totally different. He's gonna, he's gonna get in your butt. Like he just expects so much of us. And all we have to do is just give him what he needs. You know, he'll just make us great players. Our next will be Brendan, front row on your left. Following up on that, when you're in the recruiting process, you start getting to know Coach Hagan. Like, do you do research onto him to know, or into him to kind of know like what his background was with developing? Um, yeah. So, um, if, um, before I didn't really know that much about Coach Hagan. And um, like, of course, like people, because like in North Carolina, we have a we have a couple of. Like we have a pretty decent amount of Florida State fans, so they know a lot about them. And like my coaches knew most about them. So like they were just like, do your own research. Um, and like like the research that I found, I was like amazed at it. And like that really helped me um, really realize who was gonna be coaching me, um, how he could help me, just how he could develop me. And just looking at all the prospects he's put in the draft and like all like his draft picks and his, like everything he does speaks for itself. All his accolades speak for itself. Recruiting, people think about Georgia, Florida, Texas, California, right. North Carolina might not be the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know if that's something that you have on the back of your mind or a chip on your shoulder that you carry, but just how confident are you with the talent that you have and the competition you went up against and what you can do here at this level? Um, I would definitely say North Carolina is like very um, looked down upon. Uh, most people think of us just as like a basketball state, um, but like we have a lot of great talent. That's, that goes overlooked in that area. I mean, um, like everyone, like the competition we play is very, it's very good. Um, we we go like I know from my high school, we um, we went out of the state and we competed very high level. Um, we beat up some top teams in the Virginia area. So I mean, it was just a good time. And I think we played a really good competition. Everyone there, it's really good. Chris.
best front row on your left? Both physically and mentally, what's the biggest transition for a high school D tackle moving on to the college game? Um, I would definitely say it's both physically and mentally, like you um, with your question. Um, just having the mindset that you're not a high school anymore, um, it's basically your freshman year all over again. Um, you're playing against grown men, and it's going to take more effort, and like it's just going to take a whole bunch of more with the new terminology that you're going to be learning, the new uh, systems, just all the, the new what is expected of you. Expected of you is like way more than what you would think of. All right, we'll stay there for Brandon. From a developmental standpoint, what has the discussion been with you in terms of like physically where they want you to get in year one, even like what position to learn and focus on that that kind of stuff? Um, basically, what's being said is like, um, you just want me to be the best I can be, um, just to get to where I feel comfortable and like where it's best for me and for like how I fit the scheme and um, just go make plays when I'm needed to. Right, we'll come over here front row to the right for Kurt. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, I, I guess, I, I don't know, I guess uh, you're walking down to a pretty deep defensive line. I guess your excitement level, whatever your role is in year one to get to, I mean, with Fabian coming back, with right. the guys they added in the portal, guys like Jared Burst, I'm sure you can learn right, from right. your excitement to have so many experienced guys to be able to learn after this year. Um, all those guys, um, they've, like, honestly, they've all take, took me in. Um, they've helped me learn a lot. Um, just being able to learn from a guy like Fabian, he's been around for a while. And a guy like Jared, I mean, you see what he does on the field. And like a lot of guys, um, they just all take me in. Um, Cause I've been here for, for like three weeks, I think. So like, it's been a really, not stressful transition, but like truly like a, just a big transition. Um, so they've really helped me a lot. Like just help me understand what's expected, what's the day to day life, um, how to take care of my body, what's the right things to do, just all that stuff. Like it's, it's been really good. All right, we'll go to the second row on the left for Essa. Is there any player that you kind of modeled your game after that you kind of look up in the NFL or college that you, you kind of model your game after and play like? Um, I would say like I try to I like um, growing up my grandfather he taught he told me about me Joe Green so I started off with him um, and then like Michael Strahan Aaron Donald Bruce Smith all those guys I like those guys a lot um, I just try to be, be myself I know my strength and what I'm good at but um like when I'm looking if I'm looking at a player those are like the main guys I try to look at I'll back over here to your right for Ira. You uh, you put up some impressive numbers, obviously in high school. Um, would you, I guess, can you describe like how you made a lot of your plays, especially the sacks? Is it mostly just you know initial burst, or the run plays out from behind, or what, what do you think your strengths were? Um, it was a mixture. Sometimes I would be running quarterback down from behind, um, just getting off the ball, um, blowing the offensive line back, um, just doing whatever I could in from game to game, um, just whatever the game plan was for us that week. I would just implement that into my game and just go make plays. Um, I was uh, fortunate enough where my coaching staff um, trusted our defense and um, they allowed us just to go make plays while playing what the game plan was. So that helped us a lot, so. All right, we'll go to the second row on your left for Jack. You mentioned your grandfather a few times. Um, I guess how big of a role did he play in your development as a player? And I guess in the way that he um, so my grandfather, um, all to when I was like 13, 13 or 14, he was um, around uh, 14, he passed around that time. So uh, he played a big part in my development in football, along with my father. Um, he, he told me when I was very young, the only field, I mean, the only light on the field means is green. Like they just need to go do everything to the fullest and just have a great time while you're doing it. So um, he played a big part in my love for football and um, it took it took my game all the way to another level and just learning the game of football and then my father he of course he helped me he helped me a lot with my recruitment process and um, it was just new to all of us um, but he he helped me like, he learned a lot for the recruitment process and now he's able to help other people in our area try to get recruited so um, like my recruitment has really been a blessing for like my area I would say. Back to Ira. What kind of things did uh, 
basketball help you with? Do you see anything that translates to football? Um, basketball, um, I actually started playing basketball before I started playing football. Um, I would say I started playing basketball around like three, and I played basketball, I started playing football at four years old. So um, those two sports, I feel like went hand in hand. Um, I would say like basketball helped me with my footwork, and then um, and then like basketball and baseball definitely helped me with my footwork. Um, just those two, those like really, really taught me like really good hand-eye coordination, and just um, how to be conditioned and run. So um, I mean those two helped me when it got time for football season, and um, it was just football just came easy. All right, thanks, KJ.